friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane and I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today is day three of our trip here in Costa Rica. And I am just getting finished packed up because we are on our way to Monteverde today. We are making a few stops along the way. Um, I believe we're going to a place called Sarchi and there is another small town that we are stopping in and then once we get to our hotel we do have a site inspection planned and then a group dinner as I am here with other travel advisors. Uh, we are being hosted by the Costa Rica Tourism Board uh, which is I'm so grateful. <laughs> so yeah it's been a great trip so far. The Grano de Oro Hotel has been a beautiful hotel and uh, yeah I I just need to get finished packed up and then I'm heading to the restaurant here for breakfast uh, so yeah let's get going We had breakfast at the Grano de Oro Hotel. Again, I had the Tico breakfast with potatoes instead of plantains. I really enjoyed my stay here at the Grano de Oro Hotel and highly recommend staying here if you're ever visiting the San Jose area. On our way out, we drove by one of the art museums in San Jose, which actually used to be the old air traffic control tower of the old airport, which the old airport is now a beautiful park. Once we arrived in Grecia, we stopped at the main square to stretch our legs for a few minutes, which had a park and this beautiful church. We're going to take you to see the, the biggest ox cart in the world, right here in Sarchi. The tradition of painting the typical ox cart started in 1903. The day of labor in Costa Rica is May the 1st, and the, the patron saint of labor is San Isidro Labrador. So we have a procession on May 1st, where people are supposed to bring flowers for San Isidro. And the believing was that if you didn't bring flowers, you were going to lose your harvest. And uh, there was this man, Joaquin Chaverri, who came late to the place where they were selling the flowers, and they ran out of flowers. And he got nervous that he was going to lose his harvest. 1903 was the year. So he decided to paint his ox cart with designs that looked like flowers. And uh, then people started liking it and they started asking him to paint their ox carts and it became a big tradition. And uh, now it is a, a traditional souvenir of Costa Rica. They make the little ones where you can put napkins, they make big ones that is like a mini bar. I gave one of those to my sister who lives in Austria for her wedding present. Ronald, our guide, explained that Sarchi is home of the ox cart, which is listed on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List. We had a guided tour of how they still make ox carts still using the traditional ways. They cut 15 pieces of teak or mahogany wood and fit it together like a pie. They then place a hub and secure it into each piece of wood. They then trim the pieces into a perfect round and secure an iron ring around the wooden wheel. The factory is also very sustainable as it is still powered by a water wheel. The original one was installed in 1923 and this is the third water wheel that was installed back in 1965. 
Many of the tools are actually powered by rotating rods that turn cogs to power some of the machines, such as a saw. Once the ox carts are completed, they are actually still hand painted to this day. We actually got to see one of the artisans working on painting some glassware. And after our tour, we were then allowed to take a look at the souvenir shop, which quite a few items were very, very beautiful to see. which is the home of the ox cart here in Costa Rica. And this is the largest ox cart. It's quite large. I would actually say it's probably around uh, 15 feet high. So it is quite big. Um, photos and videos, you probably can't really tell too much of the size, but uh, it's a really, really pretty little town here. And uh, the art, and the painting, the detail work that they do is just, a, it's stunning. I love it. Like all the different uh, paintings on the walls, um, the ox carts themselves, um, even like some of the pavilions and whatnot. There's really, really pretty detailing everywhere. So definitely come to Sarchi if you're into art because it's a really cute and unique place to visit here in Costa Rica. Uh, so we're continuing on now to Monteverde. Uh, we are going to stop for lunch soon at a restaurant called El Jardin. Uh, so yeah, it's been a really relaxing day so far. We drove Pan American Highway up from San Jose and yeah, it's been a great day so far. So let's get to lunch and then head to Monteverde. lunch at El Jardin which is a restaurant that serves local Costa Rican food and is similar to a soda. Lunch was included for us however for a meal like this you can expect to pay around six to seven dollars US. Once we were on the road to Monteverde, Aiden, our driver, spotted some howler monkeys. So he stopped the bus so we could see them. There were between 10 to 12 monkeys in the surrounding trees, including a baby, which was really cute to watch. Aiden also stopped for us so we could enjoy this stunning viewpoint from the mountains down across the Nicoya Peninsula in the distance. Mm -hmm. 
We then arrived at the El Establo Hotel in Monteverde and checked in. When you check in, you are given your room keys and a physical key to the safe. All the rooms here face the valley below and there are some stunning sunset views from the hotel. You are definitely in nature here. This very curious Cody was quite entertaining to watch and graciously posed for some photos for me. quick room tour here. It's got the sunset outside. I'll do a proper room tour in the morning when it's light. I do have a door out to another patio there. sunset. in my room I just got back from dinner and it was so good as you can see I had the Argentinian steak with potatoes and vegetables and I love chimichurri sauce <laughs> so I was so excited that it came with chimichurri so yeah I had a great dinner got to chat with all the other travel advisors and our hosts here on our trip so it, yeah, it was a great dinner and now it is time for bed. I am really tired. We had a bit of a long day. It was a relaxing day, but still trying to get caught up from the travel days, obviously getting here. And yesterday was a very, very busy day. <laughs> so looking forward to a really fun day tomorrow. So that will be in next week's episode. Um, we are heading to the zip lines, so we're going um, zip lining with Monteverde Extremo. I'm excited to kind of show you guys what that adventure looks like. We're going to go to another hotel tomorrow uh, for a site inspection and dinner. 
uh, here in Monteverde. So thank you again so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It does help support my channel. And as always, we'll see you again next week. Bye!